give me a tour of, it, uh, of the garden and, and tell me about the elements. Yeah, sure. Um, so the roof garden is a little bit different than what you would find on the ground. Um, probably the biggest thing that people notice is the actual soil. It's not really soil. You can see here it's more of an aggregate. Um, and this is what we were talking about earlier with the heat expanded slate and shale. Um, you can see it's really porous. It makes it very lightweight. So it's, it's really applicable for a roof installation. Um, it's also very porous to collect additional rainwater um, so that it's very absorbent. The plants are not something that you see a whole lot, especially in this region. Um, the roof environment is more arid. It's a lot more like a desert than what we see on the ground. So the plants have to reflect that. And what you're gonna see on this roof is a mix of native grasses um, and sedum. So this, for example, um, will actually really only breathe at night. It stores a lot of water in its root system and slowly releases it as necessary um, to keep the plant alive. Uh, plants like these will generally live, you know, three, four, five weeks in the summer with absolutely no rainfall. There's no additional irrigation up here, so we're not out here watering the plants. We're not using the municipal water to keep them alive. Um, but there is a lot of variation in, in the plants that are out here. You can see different colors, different textures. Um, you know, there's a great example here of some of the plants that are actually in bloom right now. Um, we've got a sedum sex angulaire, which has a little bit of bloom on it. Um, Acetum spurium back here where you can see the blooms from last season that are still intact, but you can also see the different colors in the foliage. Um, back a little bit further than that, you can see some of the different varieties of actually the same species of plants, so different cultivars here. We've still got the little pink blossoms that are on the sedum spurium here, and then we've got a more green spurium behind it. Um, texture is one of the things that you'll notice too. So this is a Wynastaffer gold, and you can see that the leaf patterns are very different from the spurium, which look a lot more like a rose. Are, um, this, uh, are, are these easy to find? And, uh, you know, we're generally at a, any garden shop? Uh, you're probably not going to find them at any garden shop. We actually have a couple of special growers across the country that we use. Um, there's a farm called Emory Knowles Farms that's up in Maryland, uh, run by a man named Ed Snodgrass, who's kind of the green roof plants guru. Um, Ed does a wonderful job. Um, we also have a couple of different local suppliers that are here uh, closer to D.C. Wayne's Wholesale does some really good plant work for us as well. Tell me about the stones. Now that you obviously you chose white stones for a reason. We did. I mean, the white stones up here are cooler, but they also offset um, really nicely aesthetically against um, the kind of darker gray of the, of the growing medium. But how do you compare this roof to next door, let's say? Well, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious if, if you take a look, there's just hot black, basically, roof membrane over there and nice, cool white stone here. Um, you'll also see that there's, some st there's still some water puddling from the rain that we had two nights ago. Um, that's one of the things that the green roof really helps with is it, it would retain that amount of water. And then once the saturation point is reached for the green roof, the roof sheds just like the green roof wasn't even there. And, and in terms of how much heat reduction there is, can you tell? I mean, I can feel a difference. Um, if we were to walk across right there, you would actually feel the heat reflect up on your ankles, on your legs. Um, but I think, you know, the general rule of thumb that we see between a white roof or a green roof and a, and a traditional blacktop roof is in the middle of the summer, somewhere between 40 and 60 degrees of the surface temperature. Right. Next door, you can see a black top. Swing over to this apartment complex. Small units in the middle of Washington, D.C. on a hot day. Plants, white stone, keep off the heat.